Those who cultivate the Buddha Dharma should take on the responsibility of saving the entire world. Every thought, word, and deed should be dedicated to the good of the entire world. Why are there wars in the world? It's because the fighting in the minds of living beings is especially heavy. People's minds continually engage in battling and false thoughts. The false thoughts set up a struggle between reason and desire. Reason is a heavenly principle, something very spontaneous and natural. Desire refers to sexual desire and greed without satiation. Thoughts of desire obstruct great wisdom. They do battle with great wisdom. That is why day by day the world becomes worse. If everyone can purify his mind so it becomes clear and still, and one can destroy false thoughts, then one's true wisdom will manifest. If one person has true wisdom, then there is one person who is peaceful. If ten people have true wisdom, then ten people are peaceful. If for all the people in an entire country have true wisdom, then the entire country will be peaceful. This can be extended all the way up to the point. Where the entire world could become peaceful. Why isn't the world peaceful? Because the minds of living beings are constantly filled with desire, and there's little wisdom in evidence anywhere. So day by day, the world becomes worse. That is why each person in the world should make it his or her responsibility to make the world a good place. So everyone should get rid of his or her thoughts. Of selfishness, self-benefit, greed, hatred, and stupidity. Once you purify them, the world will become a good place. The Buddha Dharma is also like this. Everyone should purify his or her mind and get rid of his or her desire, habits, and forms. One should not listen to ghostly talk. Listen to the Buddha Dharma. Don't listen to what the ghost says. What's meant by listening to ghostly talk? This refers to your ghost of selfishness, who whispers to you, telling you that what you're doing doesn't carry any benefit for you, that you should change your thinking, and so on and so on. To make Buddhism right, Buddhist disciples should purify themselves and not have impure thoughts. If you have even a hair's worth of defiled thoughts, you won't attain any wisdom. For so many years, we've been cultivating, and so why is it we are still so stupid and don't understand anything? It's because our defined thoughts are too heavy, so that pure wisdom isn't able to manifest. When the heart is pure, the moon can reflect in its waters. When the mind is in samadhi, there are no clouds in the sky. If we can be without selfish desire. And random thoughts, the true wisdom can manifest. We shouldn't be unhappy when we hear people talk about our faults. If someone says we are incorrect, we shouldn't be unhappy. The ancients said, "Whoever is able to bring up our faults is our teacher." We should be pleased with whoever speaks about our faults. This person is our good knowing advisor. When Tzu Lu heard. Others speak of his faults. He was happy when Emperor Yu heard wholesome words. He bowed. When Tzu Lu heard from others about his own faults, it made him incredibly happy. He would think, "You are truly my good knowing advisor. If you hadn't told me, I never would have been able to recognize this in myself." Great King Yu. Was an emperor, and yet whenever he heard someone say a sentence of good words, he would make obeisance to that person. They are both people who are willing to correct their faults. Mistakes must be corrected by yourself. They can't be corrected by other people. Other people can only bring them up, but you have to correct these problems yourself. A good knowing advisor can bring them to your attention. Tell you about them, but whether you listen or not is up to you. Those who cultivate the way can't obstruct other people's cultivate of the way. It's already bad enough that you don't cultivate the way yourself. But if 
in addition you proceed to confuse other people cause them not to cultivate cause their minds to be disturbed and cause them to have a lot of false thinking then you are creating an extremely dangerous situation it's not the world that's not good is I who am not good if I want to make the world right then I first have to be right if you don't want your family to fight then you yourself shouldn't fight it all stems from yourself it's not that my disciples are bad but that I'm bad I want to correct myself then my disciples will be good Sutra living beings say on such and such a day the Buddha accomplished the way yet the Tathagata's attainment of body is actually not fixed to a certain day the first common is apart from discriminations is not of this world and transcends the own calculations own guiding masters of the three birds of time appear in this way consider how although the pure solar orb actually does not unite with the dark of night we still make reference to day and night together so too we retreat we treat the dramas of all Buddhas, all compass in the three bodas of time do not unite with the first commands, yet we speak of the Buddhas of the three bodas of time and also regard the drama of the guiding master like this. Commentary Jod Bene Bodhisattva also says that worldly marks and world transcending marks are not the same. The world has marks and what is transcendental is without marks. Living beings say, on such and such a day, the Buddha appeared in the world, and on a certain day, the Buddha left the home life. On such and such a day, the Buddha accomplished the way. And on such and such a day, the Buddha turned the Dharma wheel. Then on a certain day, the Buddha entered Mahaparinirvana. It is in accord with the common truths of the world that one speaks this way. Yet, if one speak in accord with the absolute truth, the Tathagata's attainment of body is actually not fixed to a certain day. The Buddha's accomplishment of the way, his accomplishment of unsurpassed, proper and equal right enlightenment did not occur at a fixed time on a certain day. The Buddha in countless compass past had already accomplished the way, he says in Brahmanet Sutra. I have into this Saha world 80,000 times. I have into this Saha world 8,000 times. 8,000 times is also just a number, but it's not just 8,000 times. The Buddha, according with the opportunities of living beings, manifests. There isn't any definitive about it. The first come one is apart from discriminations. If you wish to understand the Buddha, you can't use the mind which discriminates to calculate or to think about him because the Buddha is inconceivable. So once you use your mind to think about it or use words to conceptualize it, then you have already fallen into a secondary meaning. He is not of this world and transcends all calculations. The Buddha isn't like us living beings who use our minds bound up in attachment to think with. He transcends all calculations. He is apart from all reckonings, so he isn't contained any number. Numbers are very subtle and wonderful. For instance, broadcasts go into space. This is all calculated by mathematics and it can't be off by a hair. These broadcasts go to the moon, then return, and this belongs to the realm of mathematics. But the Buddha transcends all numbers. One can neither think of him within one's mind nor speak of him with words. All guiding masters of the three periods of time, speaking on a small scale, the three periods of time refer to this past hour, the present hour and the next hour. In slightly broader terms, this means yesterday, today and tomorrow. These are also the three periods of time, or a longer period would include last month, this month and next month, these two are the three periods of time. Yet, extending it for even a longer period, 
the three periods of time also include last year, this year, and next year. So you don't necessarily have to say that the past time is last life, and that this time is this life, and future time is next life. You can speak of the three periods of time right within this very life. Also, yeah, past compass, past time. This compass, present time, and future compass, future time. So the three periods of time are not fixed. In the line, all guiding masters of the three periods of time. All is a grammatical particle that can mean both one and all. If it were to mean just one, which guiding master would it be referring to? Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha is also the guiding master of the past, present, and future. And so the next says that all guiding master of the three periods of time appear in this way. No matter whether there are many or just one, the guiding master manifests in the world all in the same way. They aren't without production, yet they sweep away all dhammas and are apart from all marks. They act as if not acting. So we living beings shouldn't use our common ordinary minds to fathom the wisdom of the sages. Consider how, although the pure solar orb actually does not unite with the dark of night, we still make reference to day and night together. So to do we treat the dramas of all Buddhas. Here the analogy and is made to the sun in a completely clear sky, as they say, not a cloud in the sky for ten thousand miles. Although this clear and pure sun doesn't unite with the night, yet day return、uh, turns into night and night turns into day. Most common people speak of day and night in the sense that they are connected. That is, day connects with night and night connects with day. However, this is a common way of speaking, and just as it is with the pure sun, so too do we treat the dhammas of all Buddhas. All Buddha dramas are also like this, like the pure sun. We living beings, while in the midst of marks, should be apart from marks. While in the midst of dramas, should recognize the absence of dramas. One shouldn't be attached to things which have form and characteristics. All compass in the three periods of time, the great compass of the past, present, and future, do not unite with the thus come ones. Compass are compass, and Buddhas are Buddhas. Although they don't unite, people speak of the Buddhas of the three periods of time, and also regard the drama of the guiding master like this. The drama of Shakyamuni Buddha is also like this. Although Buddha don't unite with the three periods of time, yet it is said that there are Buddhas throughout the three periods of time, and the Buddha drama is also like this. Sutra at that time. Vigorous banner Bodhisattva received the Buddha's spiritual power. Junior slowly contemplated the ten directions and spoke these verses. All guiding masters' bodies are the same, and so too are their meanings. Junior slowly in the lens of the ten directions, according to potentials, they appear in various ways. You should contemplate the honored Muni. With that which he does is extremely rare and special. He completely fills the drama realm, and there is nothing left out. The Buddha's body is not within, nor is it without. Because of spiritual power, it is revealed. The drama of the guiding master is just like this. Commentary: When Jyot Banna Bodhisattva had finished speaking his verses, at that time, vigorous Banna Bodhisattva received. The Buddha's spiritual power universally contemplated the ten directions and spoke these verses. In this drama assembly, there is a bodhisattva called Vigorous Banner Bodhisattva. This bodhisattva is vigorous both day and night. In the six periods of the day and night, he is constantly vigorous. He doesn't rest either in the day or night. With his body, he is always diligent. By constantly following the Buddhas in study, with his mind, he is never vigorous. By continually reflecting on and investigating the Buddha Dharma, 
Therefore, he is given the name Vigorous Banner Bodhisattva. This Bodhisattva also relies on the great awesome spiritual power of Varotrana Buddha, that is to say, Shakyamuni Buddha. He receives the great awesome spiritual power of all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and the Three Barriers of Time. Having attained the protection and support, and support of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and the Three Barriers of Time, his eloquence and wisdom increase and he becomes unobstructed. Then he is able to universally contemplate the causes and conditions of the living beings of the ten directions and three periods of time. And according to the proper Dharma door that ought to be used to teach and transform them, he speaks that Dharma. He uses verses which are very simple in meaning to explain the Buddha Dharma for them. All guiding masters' bodies are the same. All the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and the Three Buddhas of Time have bodies which are identical. They, are share, they all share the Dharma body and so too are their meanings. They have the same body and their meaning are also the same. The path of all Buddhas is the same. Buddhas are identical to other Buddhas. There isn't any discrimination that of this and that. Also in the East, there's Medicine Master Buddha. In the south, there is Jod Victory Buddha. In the west, there is Amitabha Buddha. In the center, there is Shakyamuni Buddha. And in the north, there is Accomplishment Buddha. Although there are all these distinctions, yet ultimately they all have one substance. And so, universally, in the lands of the ten directions, according to potentials, they appear in various ways. According to a living being's mind and responses, the Buddhas produce all kinds of bodies to teach and transform them. You should contemplate the honored Moni. Each of you living beings, you, me, and him are included. All the present living beings spoken up here, you should take a look at Shakyamuni Buddha, world honored one, because that which he does is extremely rare and special. What he does is very unique and excellent. He completely fills the Dharma realm. His Dharma body completely fills up the Dharma realm to the ends of empty space. And there is nothing left out. In all places, he is neither present nor is he not present. The Buddha's body is not within. The body of the Buddha is present, yet is not present. It is not inside, nor is it without. He is also not outside. Because of spiritual power, it is revealed. Because of the spiritual strength cultivated by all Buddhas based on the power of past vows, he therefore appears. The Dharma of the Guiding Master is just like this. The Buddha Dharma is that way too.